Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Before starting the video, if you have not subscribed our channel till now, then please subscribe it. And if you have not watched our previous videos, then watch it. In this video, we will see how to implement customized server side validation using user defined annotation. Before the start, anything let's run and see whatever we added till now it's working fine or not. See everything is working fine, server side validation is happening properly. In this video, we will create some customized server side validation. We won't use the fault mine like Java X validation or Hibernate validator. We will create our own annotation to validate input. To know about annotation you can watch our video, the link is in the description. Now let's replace the fault with the user defined annotation validate. We already added a check for regular expression so it's optional because sometimes input could be anything. 
No need to multiple annotations you can merge the functionality or if it is required can create as many as the same way we will replace all the annotations with validate. It's done, let's see, is it working fine or not? Oops, not working, something went wrong, let's check what is it. Forgot to declare groups and payload method and annotation because of that error is coming, so let's declare. Let's check again. See it's working fine. And no of error is also reducing when the input is valid. See it's working fine. The user record is saving properly. The same thing will check it for address also. It's working same way you can create as many as conditions to validate input. Let's review whatever we added. You can remove not null annotation also. I hope you are like this video then please subscribe our channel.